Bad things happen to everyone. Getting fired by your boss during a planetary invasion is bad. Starting a street war with that planetary invader is bad too. Having your business blown up more by those planetary invaders, also bad. Yep, three doofuses got hit with some really bad things, but that's not what makes them special. What makes them special is what they do with the bad. Forget corporate armies, forget courageous vault hunters. Sometimes, all it takes to change the galaxy is a trio of losers trying to get through a bad day. And maybe, just maybe, they uncover a shiny little nugget of good. shop they destroyed everything bouncing banana blast <gasps> what have they done to you Louis Lou where are you come on pal you better just be looming somewhere like you always do Lou make a bad joke if you hear me How did the robot get across the river? In a rowboat. You're not dead? I thought you were a goner for sure. I cannot die, Octavia. I am built to withstand incredible amounts of damage. TD or grenades cannot harm me, nor can the physical collapse of the worst rated Froggart shop on Promethea. I'm gonna need a moment to myself. I suggest you use it to teach that killbot of yours some manners. Another word out of him, and he'll be in pieces. You risked your life to save mine. This is all my fault. I I'm so sorry, Fran. Fantastic! Fudge slide! Whip your butter ripple blast! Kimchi lemon cowabunga! I have been unable to solar charge while trapped beneath the rubble. My analysis of the current situation indicates that I have ample time to deep charge while you wallow in despair. Please alert me when your wallowing is complete. Yeah, that's good source. Entering power sleep. Great. Awesome. My work bliss is destroyed, my boss is on the verge of going nuclear, and the latest planetary invader wants me dead. Louis is right. I deserve a good wallow. This is me. Wallowing. Keeps getting weirder. 
What the hell are you doing here? I thought you hated it down here. So, what's good in the hood? And nice to see you too. Looks like you've got everything perfectly in order here. Been doing my best to help rebuild after the first invasion, but yeah. Really, living your best life. <laughs> Under 30, flirty, and thriving. So I absolutely didn't need to rush down here and try and save your life? Nope. I know the time and place aren't ideal, but I've... I've really missed you. The way I left was messy and complicated and also not ideal. But we can talk about all of that someplace that isn't a still-smoking pile of rubble. Uh, I'm kind of busy. What? Oh, sorry, I forgot. You left Promethea on your schedule, you come back on your schedule. Everything's always on your schedule. And you don't look so put together yourself. Outfit torn, blood splattered on your face. As your loving brother, I gotta say, you look like hell. You look like you rolled through a rat's nest. This is how I choose to look now. It's my new thing. You're covered in blood. I'm fashion forward. Look, I get it. You don't handle conflict very well, but this isn't our first invasion. Pro tips, duck and cover, run and scream, and the third thing that I forget. It'll all blow over in a snap. This isn't your garden variety invasion. Susan Caldwell invaded the Atlas Station too. She was convinced Reese Strongfork had a vault key and they wanted it. Holy crap, seriously? Yes, they showed up minutes after I was fired for the Jabbers and I think they took my boss hostage and I stole his car and I crashed on this horrible planet and they were psychos and I killed one of them with this and I tore my outfit and I had to walk so far in these shoes to find you. Whoa, 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 you killed someone? Yes. Yes, Octavio, and I feel super weird about it. Bad weird. I have a lot of emotional unpacking to do, but not here. Not on this planet. On another planet with less killing. I would prefer less killing. <sighs> Bring it in. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm fine, I'm just a little... Bring it in. Shh. First kill's always the hardest. I know. I've killed many people. <laughs> so, so many people. When you think about it, killing is just being born in reverse. Well! So glad you two have each other. Cause this is all I have left. I'm Fran, by the way. I own this place, or I did, when it was still a place, and not a ratchberry flavored hole in the ground. She's stable, right? <laughs> Charging complete. As is, I sense, you're wallowing. Oh, uh, who's this? Louis? He's an assassination bot. But like a cool assassination bot. Incorrect. Louis? Miranu. My sister. This woman bears no resemblance to you. You may have been duped. Families come in all shapes around here. The shape of mine is that Anu's my big sister, and I'm her more popular adopted baby brother. Ugh. I see. You seem non-hostile. I will not scan you for contracts that would oblige me to kill you. Your survival probability is 98%. See? Cool assassination bot. We, uh, never had anything like that at Atlas, shockingly. Atlas? Oh no, Octavio! Not another paper pusher serving one of those heartless corporations that only exist to destroy people's lives. What? No. Oh well, sort of. Yes, but not me. No. Atlas, Malawan, TDR, doesn't matter. You corp goons take what you want and you move on. You're the big people and we're just the tiny ones getting squished beneath your heel. No, really, I, I, I don't. Squish people. I left Atlas. I swear, I never even wanted to design weapons. You can't just judge a person by their resume, you know. Unless you're hiring them. Well, sure. I don't know. You sure seem like a corporate tool. 
I was just fired for refusing to make anything that would kill anyone. And for freeing lab jobbers. Well, maybe not. Plus, she's my sister. We share that free spirit DNA. Or what if we shared DNA? I don't smell too much of that Atlas stink on you. All right. You're okay with me. For now. Thank, thank me. I, I mean you. I mean... Thank. Don't pay her any mind, Anu. Took her the better part of a year to trust me. You trust him? What? drugs are you putting in your frogert? He practically invented the concept of sticky fingers. He steals constantly. Come on, Anu. You know my stealing days are behind me. Friend sure does. Back me up, friend. Friend knows what's up. Right, friend? Never stolen from me, at least. Because he doesn't have a death wish. That's right. Call me Mr. Not Steal. Because he spends all his days not stealing. Very impressive. Proud of you, bro. Thanks. Look, have I stolen in the past? Yes. Do I steal currently? I guess we'll never know. Point is that even if I hypothetically stole, it hasn't landed me in hot water yet. Secure around the perimeter. What was that? I definitely heard something. Like... A radio. It's those damn meddlesome teens. Teens? Teenagers? Yes, teenagers love to impersonate electrical appliances, like radios and blenders and sous vides. I am not involving myself in this. I once saw two teenage girls perfectly impersonate a dishwasher. That sounds highly degenerate. Maybe it was this. <gasps> What could that be, Octavio? I don't know. It looks like some sort of comms device. But who could have left it here? Maybe it was teenagers. It was not. Could be a teen's comms device for arranging dabs and spinnies. Those are not things. Oh, no. They are. Really? Fran, it's... Louis, stop. No, it's a teenager's comms device. Somebody must have... Dropped it. Yes. TDO. Yeah, probably. Resistance has been minimal. We'll be back at base for happy hour. Half off banana daiquiris. Well, let's hope command finds what they're looking for. Doomsday device. Whatever that is. Yeah, that's a daiquiri device, am I right? <laughs> they're looking for... A doomsday device? I think... And they think there was a vault key being kept on the station at Atlas. That's what TDO wanted. I don't know what they mean by doomsday device. Probably something bad. Which means whatever's in that vault has got to be something big. Which means we need to get as far away from them as possible. Or maybe as close as possible. Are you completely insane? We have here what they call in the business world... A comms device. An edge. If we can find whatever's in that vault before Tidior does, we can change our lives. No. No! No, 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 it's not worth it. Tidior has many guns, talking guns, guns with legs. We will be killed by all the guns. Since we were kids, you always wanted to heal the world, to prevent suffering. Yeah? What better way to prevent suffering than stopping ruthless weapons corporations like Tidior from obtaining some priceless resource from a vault? You know whatever they want in there can be good. We, on the other hand, can change the world. We don't have to be nobodies. Change the world. Uh, that's not me. It also is not me. It's me. People call you? Anu, how are you? It's, uh, well, it's been a while since I, uh, you know. Fired me. Yeah, that. A few hours ago. Yeah, 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 ages. So, uh, you know, uh, ever since the Tedior attack, things up here have been getting a little, uh... Crappy. 
catastrophically crappy. They stole our vault key. We had a vault key, and they stole it. And I know it's not mentioned in any of our brochures, but Atlas's entire business strategy sort of relies on it not being stolen. Anu, I am asking you, nay, <clears throat> begging you, please stop them from getting that vault treasure. Why would you think I'm anywhere near? Because you stole my car, Anu. And it can't be a huge shock that I can track where it is. And, and that, 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 that's fine, actually. Right now, that's totally fine, because whatever TDR is planning is going to be just, 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 uh, just... Apocalyptic? Oh, yeah, nice vocab game. You know, I was going to say so, so bad, but that's way better. This kid gets it. Keep him. Okay, well, I got to run, because, uh... Bye, boss! Looks like they're going to... Wait, Timmy! Bye, boss! What's a Timmy? TDR has disabled Atlas's comms. Timmy equals TDR comms. Got it. You definitely have not. You really don't give a ratchet's ass about Atlas or TDR. You ready to go to God knows where for this vault? I suppose. Wherever it is, it can't be worse than here. I'm in. Scissors in! I knew you'd come around. Fran, putting this plan into action is on you, girl. Plan? Don't call me that. Noted. So, you come into Vault Town? <laughs> my shop is gone. I lost my temper. But I just need to sit somewhere quiet and visualize the pulp I'll beat Susan Coldwell into if I had the chance. I've lost enough to know that most adventures don't have happy endings. Susan is TDR. She's the CEO of the Big Cheese. And? We steal. It's not stealing. We lift the vault treasure from under TDR's nose. You sock a wallet to TDR, translate a property, you sock a wallet to Susan. Actually, yes, that logic checks out. Hmm. We've been through a lot together. When the yogurt was thick and thin. <gasps> I'm in. Yes! Fran makes three. We'll be unstoppable when you use your crazy mode on your hover chair. I do not use that mode anymore. And Al Zero U13 makes four. I enjoy hunting of any kind, regardless of whether it involves paid human assassinations. That's nice. Now that you're officially a team, in the past 15 seconds, I've designed, programmed, and activated a teamwork morale sensor. It gathers data based on your behavior toward each other and scores your camaraderie from one out of 10 skateboards. All sorts of data. Your speech, actions, how you look at each other, personal hygiene. Why are you using skateboards to rate our teamwork? Oh, I'm glad you asked, Octavia. Data suggests that skateboards are more well-received than stars, hearts, thumbs up, and winky faces. The question you should be asking, why aren't we using skateboards to rate everything else? What's so important about a teamwork score? The odds of you failing are already remarkably high. The remaining small chance of success depends entirely on your ability to work together and find cohesion as a team. Based on your interaction so far, your current rating is... 6 out of 10 skateboards. Congratulations. You're well on your way to becoming true bosom buddies. Well, whatever our score is, we start by gathering more information. That'll give us all what we want. Anu, they surely have VIP access codes to get off the planet. Fran, you get the whereabouts of Susan. Susan! And I can learn more about this vault treasure and strike it rich. We'll just eavesdrop on this comms for intel. It shouldn't take long at all.
I find Zipper Ripper to carry the best athleisure wear. Agreed. And it's eco-friendly. Really? There's something about the threading process and uh, free trade materials. Huh. We'll make something free trade. This is hopeless! Wait, they are telling us where TV is heading. Zipper Ripper athleisure wear? No, it's not what they're saying, it's how they're saying it. The Lycra really supports my delicates, too. The reverberations bouncing their voices. The faded signal. They're in a tunnel, maybe somewhere underground. The sewer! I've got just the guy to help us. And I have an entry to the sewer in the basement. Why do you... If you happen to see any corpses along the way, uh, don't worry about them. They're just, uh... Yeah, don't worry about them. Uh-huh. Well, let's quit dilly-dallying and get our butts to the sewer. Louis, guard the shop. It is useless rubble. It is my useless rubble. Come on, this way! Got a secret sewer exit built into your shop? Yeah. I... Okay. Cool. Yes. <sighs> if you see any bodies down here, pretend you didn't. Why would we... Talk about something we definitely won't see. Got it. Fucko! Good friend of mine. Shut up, moron. Decent friend. <laughs> Do you want to die? A acquaintance. You're heading into a battalion of Tyrior troops. How do you know that? I snuck a tracker into your clothes in case Why I ever he... needed to kill you. Stay quiet. Sneak. Don't run. Pretend you're on a stealth mission, huh? And that you're not an idiot. And if they catch you, make sure you die before you give me up, okay? Stealth? Like shooting them quietly? Uh-uh. Like not shooting at all. Oh. Uh, okay. I guess. TDR troops ahead. Gotta be sneaky. What? How? I I'm not a covert operative. Just stay low and follow my lead. Well, just, you know, stay quiet and avoid them all. Hold up, I love you, but I would never put the words quiet and Octavio in the same solar system as each other. You got a better idea? Oh. Soldier can't scream with a crushed windpipe. Wait, so... Our options are to sneak around and pray nobody spots us, or quietly murder everyone we come across. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Let's, uh, maybe try not to murder people? Prude. All right then. Follow my lead. Better follow. Oh crap. 
won't be able to cross the room without him seeing us. You can't, like, zoom up to him and knock him out? Chair gets loud if I move too fast. Everyone in the sewers will hear us. It's okay. I got an idea. Look, I like the kid, but I gotta say, your brother has problems. Octavio, what are you doing? As long as I move only when he's not looking, he'll think I'm just a harmless little ammo box. Then when I get close, I'll distract him and we get past. It's streetwise. I'm streetwise. <sighs> I never should have left you alone down here. Here we go. a true Vaultlander connoisseur. My Vaultlander? You want it, it's yours. Just let me go. I'm not gonna take it. Vaultlanders must be earned. Through the right of glorious combat. You wanna fight? Indeed I do. Will versus Will. Vaultlander to Vaultlander! Oh. Okay. Beat me, and I'll let you pass without incident, as is the warrior's code. But if I win, your vault lander and your life are forfeit. What is he doing? Let's just grab him and... No. It isn't up to us anymore. Octavio must find glory in the truth of the figures. Only through plastic combat will our fates be decided. Why are you people like this? Ready? Ready. Come back! Select your ball lander. Roland. Roland. Versus Zane. Ball landers. Fight! I'm scared! Whoa! Move the cut critical! Critical hit! Cut 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 critical! Whoa! Combat skills. Leave this place. I must gather my thoughts. Okay, we're uh, gonna go this way. No more words. I said go. Your soldiers of questionable intelligence stand between us and the vault. Fran, can you take them? 
Is Frogurt better than ice cream? Hold on. Are we sure about this? Never been sure before. Why start now? Right now, they're more vulnerable than we are. We should keep it that way. So let them get closer and closer to the vault because... Because Tidior may not be the worst thing lurking around here, and whoever has the vault key is going to be the primary target. If I'm not cracking skulls, what do you propose we do? There's some cover down there. We could try to, I don't know, get closer? We'll have to be extremely quiet. Yeah, it's a stealth mission! <laughs> Sorry. All this sneaking better lead up to some violence. It will. Probably. Just follow me and make sure they don't see you. Now, let's go. Opportunity. Wait. Oh boy. We better call for backup. Confirmed. Going for backup. No sweat. Everyone okay? All good. Perfection! I'm sorry, Octavio. We can figure this out! They're just aliens! More like robots. The Iridians apparently had them built to guard the vault before they pissed off to whatever dimension they're probably hiding in. What? I read. The point is, we're done. We'll be lucky just to find a way out of here with our lives. Whatever's in that vault, it's not worth our lives. Might be worth Octavio's. I know this is stupid. I know, but this... You know how long I've spent trying to put something, anything, together? I've been waiting for a chance like this, and if I don't take it, there might not be another. You might get killed. I was dying slow before you got here. Lee's getting killed by a space guard would be a step up. 
You're such an idiot! I told you, I know that. Well, I came here to help, so tell me how to help. Wait! <gasps> I got it! What's good, Ak? Paco, I need Juniper. What? Your ratch, dummy. Can she find me down here? Shoot. You got a musk? Then do it. What the hell are you up to? Ratches! They're tunnelers! They know every route into or out of a place. If there's a path that gets us into that vault without exposing ourselves, Paco's pet ratch Juniper will know about it. Good idea, right, Fran? Yes! That animal has zero right to be as cute as it is. I would follow her to hell and back. How about to a vault? That'll do, Ratch. That'll do. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Juniper is. Juniper's a good girl. Well, who wouldn't be a good girl for that kind of attention? Mm. I wouldn't. Would. Not. I'm uncomfortable. All right, girl. We're counting on you. How do we get to the vault from here? Oh. Uh. It's all right. I'll find my own way through. You sure? I'm pretty sure this is the only path. I'm not convinced those Guardians aren't trying to break through and murder us all, so... I'll buy you two time. Fran, I, I don't think... You do, actually. Way too much. You kids get going now. I mean it. Fran, I... I said go. Right. We'll see you on the other side. should be seeing this. She could name a frogot after it. Like praline portal punch or top secret secret sauce. <sighs> You're right. Friend should be here. Friend! <gasps> oh! Miss me? It's... No! Anyway, look! All that effort, and Juniper just led us to the other side of this glowy arch thingy. It's quite clever, actually. It's a dimensional portal, so you can enter and exit it from either side. And on this side, the Guardians can't see us, so we have all the cover we need to... Do you want to explain more about vault physics, or can we go inside it now? Quiet. Too quiet. Is that... Should we be worried? Is there an Iridian sound-eating device or something? Can you hear me? 
Calm down, it's an expression. You're an expression. As much as I like emasculating Octavio, we're on borrowed time here. I'm gonna go guard the entrance. Hey, why don't you use those fancy specs of yours to go find that doomsday device thingy? Oh, and some vault treasure. Ideally both. There does seem to be some Iridian writings on the walls. And thanks to the genius of Dr. Tannis and these babies, I might be able to translate some of it. Roughly. Cool. Stuffy in here. Still nothing? That's cool. Keep looking. Juniper thinks you're doing a great job, by the way. I bet the treasure's in here. Who the heck keeps an empty chest in a vault? Eureka! A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? You know what? Don't overthink it, Annie. Now, what else can I find? Need a professional rune wall inscription service? Call Vinnie and Polly's rune inscribers. You've got a wall, we'll put runes on it. Cave walls, defensive walls, even dry walls. No walls too big or too small for our runes. Call now for a free estimate. We also do ceilings. See? Better translate this. Treasure circle. Guys, I think we hit the jackpot. We've come a long way, survived countless dangers, but we made it. Let's get our treasure. Shower? Ah, damn the brakes. Why would they even have a garbage shower? They are an ancient alien race. We will never understand them. I've looked at everything. I don't see anything that might be useful in making a doomsday device or treasure. Not ideal. Not even a chest of alien doubloons? Do aliens have doubloons? There's gotta be something valuable in here somewhere. My Octavio sense is never wrong. It's never right either. <laughs> so funny, wow. Maybe someone beat us to the treasure. Man, I can't believe we came all this way for Bobkiss. This is bullshit!
Pick on somebody my size, jackass. Get out of here, girl. Go. Hey! Well, we're not a bad team. Yeah, we're quite the pair. <laughs> I was including Octavio. Hey, thanks! I uh, suggest we split up. It can't get all of us. attractive loser. That's right. You hear that, Susan Coldwell? You're next. You come after me, you gon' get God. Is it really dead? Really? Okay, how would a scientist safely test whether something's dead or not? Probably probe it at arm's length, perhaps with a stick. Fran, you made that look easy. I mean, Fran totally murked that thing. It wasn't near as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe we'll be all right. Stop! Don't jinx it. Don't be superstitious. If it's truly dead, what could possibly go wrong? Stop with the jinxing! What in the what? that green thingy it's got in its tongue I don't think it's in its tongue I think he's cradling it with its tongue sort of protecting it I mean I respect it that's some next level's tongue work that's gross and besides the point I think it's healing him we need to get it out of that monster's mouth I I have a plan I was worried we were all gonna die now we're gonna die with a plan 
So, what's the plan? Let's hear it. Fran, you need to freeze that monster's tongue before it kills Octavio. Sounds good. Wait, what? You're the quickest, loudest one here. You need to occupy that thing so Fran can freeze the tongue and punch the shard loose. And what's your role in this genius plan? Relax and eat bonbons? I'll be delivering the coup de grace. You're gonna make a soup? I'll send the shardless monster on vacation. Ideally, to a dimension where it can't kill us. All right, we're dead. Okay, distract the vault monster, she says. Like, it'll be easy, she implies. Like, I'm stalling. Here he is. <sighs> you can do it. It's just a sprint around the old playing field, like when you were in school. If I die in the next few seconds, my last words should be memorable. Let's see. What are you waiting for? Get moving! I wish I had more tacos! Hey! Hey! Hey, monster! You ever eat a taco? I have! They're delicious! You're alive, but you need to leave. Where is friend? In position. Great. Good luck, girls. Your turn. Uh, no, you need to keep distracting it. That thing nearly ate me alive. Yes, great. Now I need you to get almost eaten again. <sighs> kind of scared here. Me too. You'll run faster, scared. Go. <sighs> hey, ugly. Looking for me? <laughs> I need to reconfigure the settings and remove the safety. We're gonna need every bit of power this baby's got. I missed. Gonna need a closer shot at that thing. Great. How am I supposed to get away from this thing now? Food. Oh, Anu! Hi! I have so much to tell you about! Fuzzy! You and I are gonna have such an adventure! What you... <sighs> Vaulty? Come on, you two! Focus up! You wanted an opportunity, you got one! Now, Octavio, move those feet! Get to cheerlead while I run for my life. Just one more lap, Octavio. 
Don't get scared now. Don't make me get scared now, Octavio! Oh, what we doing? That's right, keep running! One vault monster coming up! more adjustments. Voyage. Enjoy your vacation to somewhere else. <sighs> That's what your invention does? That's amazing. You just dealt with that thing like it was a moon and you're Lilith. <laughs> Wicked! Did. It's what my device did before I broke it, saving our lives. Still, that was some Vault Hunter siren type shiz, Anu. You're incredible. Thanks, Hawk. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, hey! You all right? Uh, I think so. Your eyes went all weird. What was that? I was yelling, but it was like you couldn't hear me, and not in the normal way you pretend to not hear me. I don't know what that was. Should I be worried? Hey, we got to get out of here, folks, before anyone or anything else gets in. Can't argue with that. Agreed, but I'm taking this with us. So we're like vault hunters now. We are a triple digit body count short of being actual vault hunters, but it certainly seemed that we just managed to defeat a space god. Bummer didn't drop any treasure, but we could probably sell that green thingy for a mint. I think this crystal is the vault's treasure. How's that? I don't know. Just when I touched it, I saw something. It felt something. Like, something good, something, or drives you insane and you kill us, something? Not sure. Love that. I, I just got this feeling of power mixed with pain and desire. Please don't talk about desire. Sounds like my dating profile. If we can figure out what it does, we could... Change the world for the better. Get written famous! Kick Susan Caldwell's ass! Oh... Right. Tidior. Uh, they'll be looking for this. For us. Sure. But that means we got all the leverage. Good. Saves me the trouble of looking for them. Fran, they have an army. And I nearly had a hundred days without losing my temper. Somebody's gonna pay for that. 
Look, what are we even worried about? Not a single TD or goon even saw us down there. What about that nerd with the dolls? <gasps> How dare you? A true Vault Lander warrior would never break a bond forts in the fires of plasticine combat. Oh my god! I'm telling you, we're fine. They don't know a thing. As far as TDR is concerned, we were never there. Thank you. 